Hey, hello, hi, welcome everybody back to a new video and today we're gonna be cloning our 3ds alrighty so if you remember in our last video we repaired this 3ds right here and what i'm gonna be trying to do in this video is taking everything from this console and cloning it over to the new 3ds and it's actually much easier than you think <laughs> So of course, we're going to be doing this with the help of custom firmware and also with the help of the system transfer feature on the 3DS. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this would work if you're trying to take a new 3DS and port it over to an old 3DS, but porting from an old to a new or a new to a new would definitely work. So let's just get right into this. So pretty much what we're going to need is compatible SD cards. This one has about eight gigs on it and this one has 32. So there should be plenty of space to port everything over. But you know, you do want to make sure you have enough space to make a NAND backup and also to transfer everything over. And then you're also going to want an SD card adapter of some sort for your computer because we are going to be transferring over some files between one another. And you also want to make sure both systems have custom firmware installed. And once you have all that set up, let's just get right into the actual cloning. So on our source console, which is our new 3DS XL, we're going to go and power this up and launch it to Godmo 9. So to do that, we're going to have to press start while holding the power button. So let's do that. And once we're in here, we can go over to God Mode 9 and then we can go and press the home button and then let's go scroll down over to scripts and then we're going to go over to GM9 Megascript and then we're going to go over to backup option and then we're going to go and click on SysNAN backup. But before we do this, you do want to make sure you have enough space depending on the amount of games and whatever you have on your 3DS. You may or may not want to pretty much double the size of your because we're pretty much going to be backing up everything saved onto your 3DS, including all your games, your saves, your photos, everything you can think of. So we'll want to make sure we have enough space. And then once we do, we can go and press A on SysNAN backup. Up, it's pretty much telling you what I told you right now. You want to make sure you have enough space. And once we do check that out, we can go and press A. So depending on the amount of things you have on your 3DS, this might take a while. So just let it charge and do its thing. Okay, so here we are. We can see that the backup was successfully created. So we could just go and press A and we could press B and just pretty much just get out of here. We'll go and press exit and then we'll press start to reboot the console. And since we're already there, let's go and do the same thing on our target console, which is our new 3DS. And now let's go over to our other settings. And then as you can see, it's gonna say system transfer. So let's go and do that. And then it's going to connect to your internet so make sure you have both of the consoles connected and we can go and press nintendo 3ds agree we can go to our source system and press send from this system and then we're going to have to log into our stuff of course put my information in real quick okay there we go we set both of them up on our source system there's ivan which is what the name on this one is and then we can go and confirm over here and press next press yes and of course we're going to press the big blue button transfer and now we just sit here and be patient and wait for everything to transfer over to the new 3DS. Okay, so this process probably took about like 10 or 15 minutes and now everything is complete. So we can go and press OK and let's go and press OK over here. And now we're just going to let it connect to the internet over here. Press next. And now it's saying that it wants us to use the source systems micro SD card on this system. So we're just going to go and press OK. And now let's just go and turn these consoles off. And let's go and take both of the SD cards out. So here is going to be my new 3DS XL's SD card, which is the source system. So this one's going to be 16 gigs and this one is going to be 32 gigs. So we want to make sure we took a note of which is which and we're going to connect both of them into our computer. If we go over here, we see this one over here, which is the 16 gig one, new 3DS XL, which is our source system. And this is our new 3DS, which is our target system. So if, it, if it's easier for you guys, you can go ahead and rename this open in a new window both of them and now let's take everything from this and copy it over to your new 3ds wait it out okay so now that is done transferring over you can go and double check everything and pretty much everything over here is identical and now if we go over to our 3ds target let's go over to the gm9 folder and out and let's just delete the NAND backup that we had just made because this actually takes up a lot of space and, and it won't even work on the target 3DS. So, and now that it that's finished up, or you could just leave the stuff on the 3DS source console there. Don't just don't delete anything on there because of course you're going to want to keep all of this. 
and let's go over to our 3ds target and let's go over to the first link in the description and it should take you to this fake tick page go over to the 3ds x and press download and there we go once we have our 3ds x we could go to the 3ds target system go to the 3ds folder and just take the 3ds x file and put it onto the 3ds folder and if we go and take a look over here here's fake tick and let's just go back and once that's finished, we can just go and take both of the SD cards out of our 3DS and I'll be showing you guys what to do from there. Okay, so here's our 16 gig SD card and let's go and put this back in there. And of course, let's put the 32 gig back in our 3DS. And now first, let's just go over to our target 3DS and launch it up, make sure everything is working fine and as you can see right here everything is pretty much identical but as you can see we are missing a few titles so let's just go over to our so let's go over to the homebrew launcher and let's scroll all the way down until we see the fake tick app that we just put on our 3ds okay so there we go fake tick let's go and click on that and you're gonna see this big menu and it's pretty much in reinstalling all of your illegitimate files so so pretty much any kind of cia files that you installed with your 3ds so let's just press start to exit and now let's go back to our home menu and as you can see all of our titles are back onto our 3ds and it seems to all be going in alphabetical order so you might have to go and reorganize everything and yeah so so on this part you're pretty much good to go you should have all of your saves and whatnot on your console this is pretty much good to go we can go and turn this off and usually you would be finished right there but we're gonna go and put everything back onto the source 3ds we're gonna go and launch up god mode 9 again power button and start let's go over to our sd card press a on there let's go scroll all the way down to gm9 out and here we can see the dot bin which is pretty much our nan backup press a on there to the bottom screen go to nand image options and let's go and press restore sysnan and it's going to be giving us this key combo right here and it's pretty much asking uh, to confirm if you really want to restore the whole nand backup so let's go and press the key combo and then we're going to have to press another and now we just wait for everything to be done restoring here it says that the restore was a success so you can go and press a and then we can go and press b and then let's go back to b b and b and then let's go and press start to exit and then we it's gonna go and take us back to our home menu and there we go as you can see both of our consoles are pretty much identical at this point and that's pretty much it make sure you guys double check that you guys have all of your save data and whatnot a bit of a warning i would kind of be careful going online with these games usually you wouldn't be able to have two nintendo network ids on one system so if you're going to be going online i guess just make sure that um make sure that um all of your 3ds's are turned off and just have one of them on so that you know um you don't really get banned or anything like that um i don't even know if that's like a problem but i would just play it safe and make sure to stay offline or if you have to make sure you turn off all of your consoles that you aren't using so yeah now that you guys have both of your consoles set up make sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video